meet the fastest man ever in South Africa. Simon Magakwi shocked the country when he dipped under the magic 10 second mark in the 100 meters for the first time. At a local meeting, he ran 9.98, and it is still an achievement he is coming to terms with. You know, the feeling was like, I mean, Simon, it's your moment. And then I went across, I was crazy, you know, that day. I went across the, the track all over the place. I mean, everybody was happy because, like, I mean, that was the first time some people see 9.98 life. But Mugakwe is far from satisfied. He believes he can go much faster than that as the season develops. His next goal is the African record of 9.85, and that's something he feels he can achieve if he can regularly line up against his old training partner, Usain Bolt. It helped me because, like, I mean, training with Usain Bolt, it's, it's, it's a privilege, you know. Like, I mean, um, it makes me not to be afraid of anyone because, like, I mean, he's the big man. Why afraid of someone else? He made me, you know, feel myself that I'm important too, because like I was training with him every day, we're doing the same things. So there was not nothing different that he does or that I don't do. But Gakwi agonizingly just missed out on a place in the 2012 Olympics team, despite running the qualifying standard. South African rules at the time demanded he ran a qualifying time overseas, something he failed to do, despite achieving the target at home. It was a devastating blow to him and his team. It was quite a difficult time for us. You know, I had to play a psychologist. I had to become a psychologist to myself and to the rest of the athletes. It was quite a difficult time. You know, I, I remember even myself, I, I even wanted to quit after what has happened uh, about the Olympics. But you know what, I decided, you know, this is not the end. Simon is clearly in the form of his life, but after so many disappointments, he's reluctant to look too far ahead. Missing out on London 2012 is clearly still a sore point, but it is that that is driving him on to Rio 2016. I mean, I'm looking forward for that, you know, because like it's going to be a great competition for me because right now I'm running nine, so that means I can go there and then do my best and then get into the podium. That's my wish. The key meeting of this year is the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, where Magakwi also has his sights set on a podium finish. Although that won't be easy, given it could see him once again go up against a star field, including possibly that of his old training partner, Usain Bolt. Dan Williams, CCTV, Rustenburg, South Africa.